Hi, it's Anthony Anarino, and I want to take just a couple minutes and talk to you about this big idea that I write about and I speak about, and it's in the first book that I'm writing and editing right now, and the editor keeps asking me, explain this idea of dream clients. And if it's so important that it continues to appear throughout this book, you need to define it very clearly so people understand what you mean. And I sort of start with this assumption that everybody knows what this means, but maybe you don't know what it means in the way that I'm talking about it. A dream client is a customer that you create breathtaking, earth-shattering, jaw-dropping value for. They perceive that value, and they're gonna allow you to capture enough of that value to deliver on your value proposition. They're gonna let you be profitable enough to actually deliver the better results and the faster results or the greater outcomes that, that you create. So the easiest way for me to explain this to you is to tell you what a dream client isn't because there's a lot of confusion and this clears it up pretty quickly. Let's say your business model is best total solution or customer intimacy or something like that. You don't have the best product. You definitely don't have the best price. But overall, the combination of all the things that you do to create value solve your customers' bigger strategic problems. You create more value than anyone else in that space. So that's what you're really trying to do. You're not trying to be the best price, but you're calling on a customer and they're huge. They spend a lot of money in your space. And when you look at them, they look like a target because they spend so much on, on what it is that you sell. And maybe even they even need those outcomes. But if their business model is such that they care mostly about price, and maybe that's their choice, is that they are like a Walmart. They drive price out of their business so they can pass it on. They work on tight margins. They can't afford what you sell. So they can't perceive the value in what you sell. Or if they perceive the value, they can't pay for that value. This means they're not a dream client for you. A dream client has to have the set of problems, the set of challenges that you solve. They have to perceive value in what you create, so much value that they look at it and it makes total sense to them that what you do is gonna solve their problems. They also have to perceive enough value that they're willing to let you capture some of that value. That means right now they're dissatisfied and they have a set of problems, but they would be willing to pay more to get a solution that actually solves those problems. That's how you know that you're creating more value. And I talk about breathtaking, earth shattering, jaw dropping, and it's a little hyperbolic, I know. But I'm trying to make the point, there has to be enough value here that when they look at you, they go, that's exactly what we need. This is gonna solve our problem. We're willing to pay more for a partner who can bring these things. They can bring us these insights. They can bring us these strategic outcomes. They can get rid of all the challenges that we're having getting where we need to go. So you need a list of dream clients. I think the right number is about 60 for most companies. You need to target these dream clients. You need to stay focused on them, even though I know they already have somebody sitting in your seat. I know they already have somebody they're doing business with. I know they're hard to penetrate, and I know it's gonna take a lot of time. But the sooner you start working on those dream client relationships, the sooner you produce the results that are possible for you, and the sooner they start getting the results that you can help them deliver. That's what I mean when I'm talking about a dream client. If you're spending time somewhere else, make the shift today to spend time over there. Nurture these relations. Call on them relentlessly. I promise you, you will win them over time and, and go and pursue your dream clients. I'm Anthony Anarino. I'll see you next time.